they rub it there. We put out pan the veranda when it was oh um so <laughs> summer, God. you know, warm enough. That <laughs> was a real rabbit, you know. <laughs> Don't you remember? No. This guy was from morning to evening. He was sexually aroused. I had a cute little shih tzu. So by that time, I I had a boyfriend. Stuff for me nearly sit down for the for me even get him. <laughs> Imagine you wake up in the middle of the night, figure a bathroom, <laughs> and you see a him. big black dead bird in front of your door. Big Fe bird too. Yeah. Feathers all over. I'm like, this is creepy as hell. Mm -hmm. Somebody up your mirror wall. <laughs> like, <laughs> what kind of demon this is follow me? Like, it's creepy. Your girl Mel, welcome back to my channel, and we are here today with mommy. So I already know say it's another story time with mommy. Story time with mommy. Story time with mommy, <laughs> mommy. So today, um, yeah, mommy is going to be telling you about I don't know what. <laughs> no, yes, we decided on something already. Yeah, I know about my part. I don't know about <laughs> your part. <laughs> so, mom is going to talk first and then I'll add my little thingy, my jiggies. No, so, okay. go ahead, mommy. Disclaimer. The stories that I'm going to tell in this series are my experience, my truth, and my point of view over the past 38 years that I have been in Jamaica and it's in no way intended to slander any person, the culture of Jamaica or the island as a whole. Okay, um, actually we decided today not to really tell stories uh, to go on in, in, in our sequence uh, but to just do something else for a change. So. Um, Melody suggested that I would uh, talk about all the animals we had throughout the years and basically it was quite a few and some stories behind them as well. So um, let's start with me coming to Jamaica in 1983 uh, while I was living in Germany. I had two dogs one little one she weighed all in all four four kilo was not very big was a mixture between i don't know how many little dogs how many pounds remember they oh it's like nine pound she weighed nine pound and and was really tight i could put her in my pocket if i wanted but a mix no no not like a chihuahua or something <laughs> Very facey, very cute. I loved her to death. She was my very, very first dog. And uh, with her, I had a bigger dog, a male called Tycho. And he was a mix between a Labrador and Shepherd. So you can see one, one little one and one pretty big one. Now, when I decided to come to Jamaica, I had to leave back those dogs and luckily where i used to live before i came uh we we were living with several people in in a farmhouse and of course they could stay there but without me and and especially chico my little one at that point in time she was about 10 years old already it's not like she was a young dog but i missed her dearly i miss them dearly i came here and and my new life started and i should have been all excited and happy and ha <coughs> having to leave those dogs i was actually considering to bring them to jamaica but it turned out uh if i would do so they would have to stay six months in uh, quarantine in kingston in one uh, a dog or, or, or animal shelter uh, to be supervised so they don't bring in any sicknesses to Jamaica because one thing with Jamaica 
we do not have any rabies here none at all and they are very very firm and stern about bringing in animals so i could not have them six months in a place like that so i decided to just leave them they knew the place it's where they used to live for years upon years and they were supposed to be happy but like i say i was suffering a lot because suddenly my, my beloved dogs weren't there anymore and while I was living up in Springbank with uh, uh, Mayumi's father and, and my two sons, um, we did not have any animals. At one point in time we decided we were considering to buy a donkey, <laughs> but we didn't. <laughs> oh no, a donkey wouldn't have been too bad, don't it? But anyhow, that, that was one phase in my life in Jamaica that I did not have any animals, which uh, in hindsight is really amazing because I always have animals. So moving on from there now, where, where, where did we go? Uh, you don't have to go in depth into all of them. No, but I'm just looking at the, the important ones. Oh, then when we live in Norwich, at that time, I was uh, still in the relationship with Lou, and Lou uh, did like to train dogs. So, at one point in time, he got this Doberman. Yeah, you told him about that one already. And then we got Buka, the shepherd lady. That, that was the one that was playing with Mayu, or Mayumi could play with her and crawl all over her. And she was the one really trying or, or that I had beside me when people tried to break in the house. Then we moved up to Bliss and there Buka was still with me. Having babies. One, the one and only time she did have babies. And then uh, tragically when the babies were like 3-4 weeks old she died. So I kept one of her babies. And uh, a male. And as a... Uh, they, they, uh, she, she was together with this uh, Rottweiler. He, my, uh, he was black, with a brown nose, but the body of a shepherd. A very, very, very pretty dog. We called him Mandingo, and short Dingo. So he was with me for the next few years with other dogs because for some reason always uh, uh, animals uh, found their way to us uh, too like people would carry them or we would find something or uh, they would just come to us so i couldn't even tell you all the names and all the animals <laughs> because way too much we had cats as well and of course cats have a tendency to have litters every minute twice a year at least and our cats uh, were not different at all so i had tons of cats all giving away and now in jamaica you can neuter your animals but at that point in time we didn't really uh, it wasn't really propagated so much now they do much more and so we had like all these animals until oh when i had to go back to germany with my family Dingo would stay with Zanai then. I luckily found, always found people too that would take care of, of them while we, I had to maybe go to Germany for a while or uh, at this point in time when we had to leave for a good while. The, the sad part with uh, Dingo was uh, he, he, he was getting a little bit older at that point in time as well and as many shepherds uh, have this problem, uh, they have a hip problem. And he developed that same hip problem as well. So that was right before we left, he started to have it. And then, uh, so basically what it meant when we were in Germany, I would not see him again. I mean, he would die while we were in Germany. Now, being in Germany, you can talk about that time because mostly we had animals well, before, for you. Well, before we left, we, we had a parrot here on the oh, house. Oh yeah, so oh, we had, we had. Yeah, mm -hmm. Exactly, there's so many, you're just we talking about your dogs. And then, uh, while we were li living in Norwich, uh, no, that was after we came back, right? Okay. Yeah. But so, then we have a big turtle that, well, it, it was really a pet pet, but we spruced him up back. 
Yeah, that was the sea turtle. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I talked about that already, I think, too, that we let him go I think before you we mentioned. left to Germany. So, our special animals, yeah, we had parrots while we were in Norwich. I had one parrot when we were living in the marina on the houseboat. And basically, it's prohibited now to have. It was just a normal parrot that, that are flying around in Jamaica here. Yeah. Uh, at that point in time we got him and they had clipped his wings and stuff and I had him on the houseboat and uh, I didn't want him to have any, to be in the cage the whole time so we started to let him fly around in the houseboat of course and one day the door was open and the parrot <whistles> disappeared. So I said alright fine you are going back to your friends. <laughs> didn't really uh wasn't really too too bad so uh -uh. yeah once we were in germany yeah um we were in this you know our apartment and we didn't have any dogs this time okay <laughs> no dogs no, no cats that would have been too crowded in the place no so. dogs no cats no, but that, what mm -hmm. we end up getting was um i think we got rabbit first right I don't even remember the secret. Because there was, there was, I was like every Saturday, was it every Saturday? Mm -hmm. There was this, you know, like market where outdoor market. Lots of different vendors would come, like food vendors, then animal vendors, <laughs> um, people selling clothing and stuff like that. Um, so there were always these people at the back of the market. I can't remember the, the, the yeah. back left corner. They had all sorts of animals, so whenever I would go to go with mommy, yeah, that was like, oh, that was American the main person, the main purpose of where I was going. And then, um, you know, we saw. I think the rabbit was for me and my Yumi. It was two of them we got? I think. Was it or one? I, I think one. Only got one. I don't know, but. The rabbit there, we put out on the veranda when it was oh um, so, <laughs> summer, God. you know, warm enough in winter. Did we even have them for winter? No, we didn't have them that long. You don't remember we returned him? Oh, why did we return him? <laughs> <laughs> that rabbit was a real rabbit, you know. Don't you remember? No. This guy was from morning to evening. He was sexually aroused, <laughs> and you know we had this <laughs> this big balcony door, full full glass. Mm -hmm. That glass on the bottom was milky white. Lord, <laughs> I'm serious, milky white. This rabbit was all over the balcony, hopping here, hopping there, hopping there, and for some reason he loved that glass door. And and before you could look again, it's like psh, something on it again. You know, really milky white, and then I I looked at that for a while, and and I said, Lord, it must have made me supposed to clean this door twenty times a day, no? <laughs> no, sir, this can't be it. So apparently we had an extra horny rabbit. I don't remember that. I was young, so <laughs> that probably thing was really something else. Probably it was that's why. Um, but and we then, brought him back actually. I can uh, we, we went back to the same market to the same person, and I explained to him and I said, Sorry, but we cannot keep him. Are you going to take him back? We never want no money from him, as I well. just please take him back. <laughs> and he took him back, so that was that, you know. <laughs> so then, after that, um, I think I, I still wanted something you know, cute. And I like then truck people and I, I still wanted something like cute and cuddly and stuff like that. So we then opted from the same people to get guinea pigs. <laughs> and I think we got two guinea pigs. Um so I think one was for my Yumi and one was for me. Like we kinda split it up. Sheer. <laughs> um I think we only had one rabbit and two guinea pigs. Okay. okay I think okay. it was that way. And then um you know they were all okay mom was always like this is your responsibility <laughs> like that was my animal so um i don't remember i think mommy said did we did they die what happened to them i think didn't they have i don't remember any of those cuddly ones I dying 
Well. So I don't think they died in our hands. I think if anything, we get fed up of them and no, bring no, them back. No, 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 no. We didn't give them away. Remember, we had. I know about the rabbit we gave away, but the guinea pigs? No. Then I remember the budgies that we got. Yes, and we got some. We had some budgies, and then we got some extra budgies from Yasha when he left. Remember? Oh my god. Yeah, he, he had, had his something. own and then he uh, gave them to us when he left to Jamaica. So we did have we did just have like one regular size cage first and Yosha did have like this big standing cage. So when he he brought his to us we a beer nice they make you know beer nice they make your ears the whole day long. But they were nice. They were cute and we stuff like fly in the house really well. nice, nice colors, you know, the blue ones, the yellow and green ones. Mm -hmm. Um I think those were the two colors. And they were ones. hatching as well. Yeah, they yeah. got babies and stuff and then we would put them out on the veranda sometime. I think one of them flew away or something yeah. like that. And we have like these trees right behind the the the, the building. And you couldn't hear them, they in at the tree and just, you know, chirping and making back. making noise and stuff, but they never they came back. back. And you know, budgies cannot really survive in freedom because they're not used to it at all. Yeah. Although it was summer and stuff, so they, that wouldn't be a problem, but I don't know. Never saw them back. And then um, when my Yumi was gone and, you know, I it was only me and mommy left in the apartment. Everybody else was out of the apartment by then. Um, I had a little turtle. I don't know what kind of turtle it was. I might can't find a picture that resembles him. But he was like super tiny and cute and I had like this little aquarium and stuff. Terrarium. Terrarium, sorry. Um where you know he had his rot that he could lay down on and we bought some decorative pieces and stuff like that but he eventually got sick where he grew this thing in his throat you remember yeah, his throat cancer. got it like cancer i don't i don't remember what it was but his throat got like really really big and um he it didn't take long for him to pass away and I remember when he passed away, I was like crying, bawling out my eyes. I was so, so sad and stuff. And then I took it upon myself because I'm like, we can't just throw him away or nothing. I'm going to give him a proper burial. <laughs> so I went outside um, and remember mommy was saying there was a playground close by. So to the right of that playground in the bushes, I did end up go, I don't know what I take with me if I want a spoon or a <laughs> But I took something with me and dug like a little hole for him. And you know, give him, nice. him in nice little... Didn't, didn't you even have like a box the way he was in or something? I don't know. I think you put him in a box and you uh, you buried the box. I don't know, something. Yeah. But my daddy, my daddy had dig on a ball and a ball and a ball. I was probably around what, 11? Around 10, 11 them time there, yeah, I think. Okay. And I had dig and a dig and a ball and me one out there, you know. Mommy, so mommy was still at home. So I made like with sticks, I, you know, me just make it look like one kind of nice something. So even the, when was it, like few years ago, I was walking past there and I was like, let me go check and see if we can find back the grave. If, if we can find back the grave. <laughs> but I couldn't. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much the animals that we had in Germany. And once we came back to Jamaica and moved um, to Norwich, which is where we are now in the story time, I got two more guinea pigs. Yay! I think mommy said we bought them in Kingston. Yeah. And yeah, they were super, super cute. And they got babies and stuff like that as well. I you know mother always they were like in my room <laughs> and that's at that point in time i got to understand that in peru where guinea pigs basically come from uh they eat them there they had, yes they, they they raise them for for uh, uh, food purpose over mm -hmm. there and i was like what 
right? Yeah, I, I no, told you that that time too. You were completely disgusted. You were like, no, I'm how still can disgusted. they do that? They are so cute. <laughs> I still disgusting. Yeah, no man, I, I, I was astonished to to get to learn that. I never knew before. So that was so, really... Yeah, besides those guinea pigs in Norwich, we only had like, you know, some dogs and cats. cats yeah. But always have dogs and cats. Always. Always. Like, I don't know a period where we didn't have any dogs. <laughs> Up to now. Up to now. <laughs> right now we have three. Up to now um so yeah we have been a family with animals like consistently like if one day the one next one come from somewhere that's true we we do not go out and buy them also. yeah they always come to us like like somebody Ooh, can't have them remember anymore. my 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 um my my sh was it a shih tzu Oh, that I had. Yeah, I had a cute little Shih Tzu. So by that time, that was I too. yeah by that time I I had a boyfriend. You know, <laughs> Melody was not the 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 little Melody anymore. I had a boyfriend by then, and that was a few years afterwards. Though it was like when I was around what was I in. Compressil or was I at Titchfield? I think I was in Titchfield. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a couple of years later. I was probably around 17 then. And my boyfriend at the time, he surprised me with a Shih Tzu. Baby. A baby Shih Tzu, a black and white one. I'm going to try and see if I can find some... some um. We called him Pepito. Yes, Pepito was his name. He was super super cute he was in my room as well and he he always bit up my stuff <laughs> like bite up all over and i was trying to potty train him and stuff and i had like newspaper laying out and stuff but he would always go right beside the newspaper <laughs> so you know that was my little <laughs> my little my little job that i had to do and he always wanted to play with the bigger dogs but the other dogs always stayed outside and he was basically the only house dog and him go outside and they up and down with them when people walk past the gate the bigger dogs they would have back up people and you want here with your little self with his little voice trying to <laughs> trying to bark at the people as well <laughs> And he was like super cute. People would put, walk by and say, oh my god, he's so cute. Um, and the funny thing is when I actually got that dog, I didn't know it was coming. Um, my boyfriend at the time drove up to the gate. So he was, you know, in his car and stuff. And then I opened the, the door. So the passenger side door. And I was about to sit down. When I realized something, something fluffy up on the seat, like me literally catch myself from sitting on the dog, and I'm like, "What is that?" And he's like, "Your new puppy." And I'm like, "What?" Oh, screaming and stuff, but me nearly sit on the dog before me even get him. <laughs> Imagine, <I was> <laughs> but he didn't even say nothing. He's just like, "Come in, no." Mm, and then me one, know, yeah. I don't know what is there. <laughs> But yeah, that was my little Pepito, and then he had I was something in, in yeah. at the time. I was uh, on the Christmas market, and I get a phone call from Melody, and she was crying on the phone again. <laughs> what did he get? It was, was something sick. in his stomach. It was from one day to the next, though. It was not yeah, a I, quick, she um, got really, long time. Really sick, and then he was like he. I noticed it because he wasn't eating anymore. So like in the morning he wasn't eating and then throughout the day he wasn't eating and barely like moving around and stuff and at the next morning I called you and said mommy the dog is behaving like this and that and then you were like all right call the vet and then we called the vet but before the vet could even come he was already gone so it was like literally within like hours hours basically. yeah it was like within two days he was completely less than two days he was um gone and it was something in his stomach i don't know poor little thing yeah he was so cute and i cried and i cried and i think i had i'm not sure if i had exams around those times 
but I think it was something important with school and I was like how am I supposed to go to school now and sit this exam when I'm so sad and upset and mourning and stuff but yeah and then um Richie was in the house at that time and Richie was the one who buried, buried him. him yeah yeah Richie is always my my <laughs> undertaker he, the, amount of, <laughs> the amount of animals Richie <laughs> buried in his well, lifetime for him, for him. It's like he was very, crazy. very helpful with that <laughs> My goodness. And the reason why we lost a lot of animals too, and that is something I find very, very disturbing in Jamaica. Um, our dogs sometimes have a tendency to go outside of the house gate or the yard gate. And the way people drive here, and a lot of them, when they see a dog, they would not break and, and give him a chance to pass the road they would even accelerate and go boom try to kill them I mean the amount of dead dogs and cats you see on the roads here when you drive to anywhere and a lot of them just get hit by a car and purposely I would say it because I mean I have been driving in this country since almost 40 years you know and I never killed a dog or a cat because I always give them time I break I let them pass nothing ever happened over the past let's say three years we have lost about four dogs and one cat to drive people who would drive fast and kill them all of our dogs that we have here right now have been hit by a car already like our big dog Rocky, he broke his shoulder. Uh, what what did Tuck have? I think his leg was broken. One of his legs was broken, and Ella Ella got uh, hit and and got something on her back leg as well. Luckily, those three survived. Uh, before that, uh, we had a dog, a very special dog. Actually, as Mayumi brought him, uh, or her, her name was Zuri. Mm. And she she was a little mix Jack Daniel and no Jack Russell no. oh you call him again Jack Russell and what was it Corgi mix so she wasn't very big and very very lively and extremely cute and I loved her to death and if you have seen like my early early um videos like my wash their routine at the river and stuff you would actually yeah she was with us at zuri the time in in yeah, the river exactly. with us zuri always was with us she loved the river she loved to swim my god you bring her to any form of water be it the sea the river even a puddle in the road she would try to swim in it you know and and same thing she got run over by a car as well although normally she never walked out really on the road i don't know what brought her to, to do it and that was really that really hit me hard because that dog was very special to me um but as i was saying that is one habit that people here in jamaica have to basically accelerate and try to kill the, the animals you know and i hate it with a passion yeah i don't i just don't get the the the, the sense behind it like why exactly. it's not even like they are stray dogs or i understand like, you know? if you are already like on a certain speed and you can't slow down or some but if you actually go faster just they, to get, hey, let me get you Boom. If it go through the the animal is just like crazy to me yeah it is very and i mean i do know that they do it purposely because uh, a lot of people here of course they are driving cautiously and carefully and they never hit an animal they don't you know and it's i think one single time in my life i i had a problem uh, i had a problem with an animal i was in germany and it was a rabbit a wild rabbit that, that crossed the road. Remember? And we didn't kill him though. Remember kind of chicken where you kill <laughs> Chicken chop. You killed you drove over a chicken mommy. That was accidentally <laughs> real. That was completely accidentally because I know that but... chick was behind the car. I couldn't even see it. And for some reason it didn't move because normally chicken 
when you even approach them with any moving, the, uh, even you yourself moving <laughs> them run right away. Her. So that thing never, and then when we Reverse. pass over it, I didn't even feel it neither. And then I look and I see this thing lying there and I say, oh my God, did I just kill this? <gasps> oh, did this happen? That was awful. That was last year. Yeah, but like I said, that time was... I killed one chicken. All right, I killed one chicken in my life. <laughs> Driving now since, what? Almost 50 years, so. <laughs> That's not too bad. In 50 years, one chicken. And I, I did not kill the rabbit, but he got, he got a lick. I don't know if he died eventually. That's two in, in almost 50 years of driving. So I think that's not too bad. <laughs> well, yeah, let me know in the comment section down below, especially if you're in Jamaica and live in Jamaica, if you have ever, like, experienced hit a, a dog hit. While, while driving or been in a car that did it. So, um, you know, been in a car where somebody else was driving it and them do it. And let me know what your thought process behind it is of why they do it and why they don't. Um, I mean, I know most of them think of most dogs as just our mongrel dog and them just, they're, they're not, all over the place they're, and they're, they're annoying to see with a color. and stuff like that. So... Mm. You know they they don't they don't um value dog dog life here no um, really. of course the people that have a personal pet they do yes. value them but the other jamaicans i don't really see them valuing dogs at all i think that would be probably like the least valued pet here in jamaica the reason being too that a lot of them are very afraid of dogs yeah you see that is the reason too why we are uh why well, well, I like to have dogs in Jamaica, especially big dogs, because basically they are our security. Because once people know, ooh, they have, we used to have a pit bull, we used to have another big dog, I mean people were literally afraid of them. Like even now, we live, when, when you, if you want to come to our house, you have to walk up the driveway for a bit and the dogs are outside. There's nobody touching there, they will shout and say, hey, hey! come now and then we have to bring in the dogs and hold them before they walk up so i love that basically because i mean it it gives you a certain sense of security yeah the dogs definitely protect yeah, you definitely. and your your house but that's why they are much hated as well of for many people because yeah. they're simply afraid of them you know? that's true but um that is basically most of the animals we had throughout our our lives i think um i don't think there's there's any other one well we, oh. we have stories to tell we can tell, talk about lucky we can talk about some others who is lucky lucky was a little cat that uh, mayumi raised with a bottle because the mother uh. got killed when when it was like maybe a few days old and Mayomi took it up on her to, to feed him with a bottle. We, we, uh, Marcia, actually my, my artist friend, she does a lot with animals as well. So she told me well, how, uh, how to mix. It was like Lasco milk with some other stuff. We, we mix up and put it in a little baby bottle with a little tiny hole. And, and she would feed that cat about 10 15 times right through the night as well because you know little kitten they are hanging on their mother constantly and it was thriving it was growing very nicely it was doing so so well when actually one of our dogs the the, the pit bull accidentally uh, she wanted to play with with lucky Mm -hmm. Ashanti, that was Ashanti. Ashanti wanted to play with Lucky and what she did, she grabbed him by his head and, and shook him a bit and it broke his neck. That was cruel. <laughs> and then I had to tell Mayumi that her baby was dead because that was like a baby to her, you know. She slept in her bed and had a little basket. She would put the basket in the bed and then have him in there and then feed him frequently as i was saying and oh my god that was that was really tragic 
Yeah, but um, I mean, let me know as well. What is your preferred pet? Like, is it a dog or a cat or oh, anything else? Whatever else. Um, but you yeah, see, the one cat I wanna always say is so cute on the lives and stuff. So no. That cat always bringing gifts to <laughs> to me, <laughs> our mommy. Uh -huh. The amount of time that cat they bring dead bird come put right in front of my door. Right. When I when I wake up and pull the door, I see one bird lay down there, fed her all about the place. Mm -hmm. The other him bring rat all the time. Well no not that often. But is it rats? No, it's mop. You bring mice. mice and rats. Oh. Actually, our neighbors here love it because they told me they are not animal lovers at all. But when they realized that we having cats in the beginning, we had three cats, uh, would take care of the rat problem they apparently had. I would know because we just moved in here, so I never ever saw rat in my house here. But apparently, before we came with the cats, they had plenty rats over in their house. So they were pretty happy to to get rid of that problem. And though the other day, what, what did Cinder carry here again? A damn snake. Yeah. When <laughs> me go to sweep out the house and I saw the snake, it was like black. Not and big. It's tiny. not, it's, it's like a tiny one. Um, but it was like black and slender. And I thought it was like one of Baba's toys toy um <laughs> insects because remember yeah, remember for christmas some, uh -huh. you gave him one of yeah, those yeah, insect yeah, kind some, of things so uh -huh. me thinks i one of them then when me i look and i inspect it even more the tail was chopped off so i actually touched the tail and the tail they tough like plastic so i say yeah man i must must want to baba tie them yeah i mean i said but this looks weird because there were there were like even there was a fly like pitching on it so I said why one fly would I pitch for one Thai snake so I mean something must have been there to attract it so I called mommy then and I said mommy did you did you see the snake that is here she's like oh yeah 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 Cinder brought it in so I said weird it's a real snake she's like yup <laughs> I'm like what the hell <laughs> like me literally take off a TLI snake you know <laughs> and then when we hear that we just laugh <laughs> So anyways, I don't mind snakes, I, I don't have a problem. Actually, I, I, we found a big boa one day on the, on the street dead. And we took it home and, and take off the skin, snake skin, you know. Mm. I mean, that was a big skin. And I hung it up on the wall and let it dry. So I had a real big boa skin one time. But yeah, this cat, not easy. He bring gifts all the time and I don't know why. <laughs> but he tends to put it in front of my door. Our, I don't know, he leaves it all about the place. What? I did have a cat in Germany and, and she always used to bring in things, right? So one day, I, I always have these big handbags, you know, women that have a lot of stuff to carry around. So one day I'm, I was grabbing into my handbag and searching for something and I felt this thing and I was like, ah! what is this? So when I looked in, it was a, how you call it, a mole? Mole wolf? Yeah. It was a mole. So what the cat actually did, kill that mole and put it right in my handbag. <laughs> so I said, well, thanks for the gift, but please, I don't need no surprises. <laughs> like, I don't know what it is with cats and gifts, but... I mean, yeah, but it is a gift. It's like they appreciate yeah, yeah. us so much that they they come and say, "This they're, is they're, for you." They're quite giving. Very. Because I mean, the the so funny cute. part is the cat now want eat none of the stuff they know. Like the cat just brings it in, plays with it a little, and then we, when he's like done playing, he's like, mm -hmm. "Okay." No, that's for you. That's for you. <laughs> <laughs> like every single time, and it's yeah. like so weird and creepy. But literally, imagine you wake up in the middle of the night, figure a bathroom, <laughs> and you see a big black dead bird in front of your door. Big Fe bird too. Yeah. Feathers all over. I'm like, this is creepy as hell. Mm -hmm. Somebody up here me or what? <laughs> like, <laughs> what kind of demon this is following me? Like, it's creepy. 
but I post I do it still. I don't know what kind of sign. He left a bird for me. Did he ever leave a bird for you? Right in the bathroom too. Right in the bathroom. And and, and holy puff feathers like he was playing with it and then yeah. finally on on the bathroom carpet as well and said, Well thank you. Now I can wash the carpet again. <laughs> Yeah, so this is pretty much our stories for today. Just, you know, a bunch of animal and stuff. I hope you guys, you know, who appreciate animals can, you know, enjoy these little snippets. Because I know with your animals, if you have any, there are quite a lot of funny stories that they can, you know, come up with. Mm -hmm. Cause well, animals, let us know some stories. If yeah. there is anything super funny or so, comment it down below. Let us read it and have a laugh together. But yeah, this is pretty much it for this video today, guys. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Mommy's like, when is the bye coming? <laughs>